two guys that I'm pretty excited about actually for 2020. I'd be thrilled to get either, but we're going to break down Dalvin Cook versus Alvin Kamara. I am going to vouch for Alvin Kamara. He is my keeper in Steph and I's um, league that we're in together. So I'm super excited about him. I'll go ahead and kick it off. Alvin Kamara last season, people acted like he was a bust, but he still finished as the running back nine. And that's after missing two games with a high ankle sprain. So Kamara's super safe. Um, He had 797 rushing yards and five touchdowns on the ground last season. And he had 81 receptions for 533 yards and a touchdown through uh, the receiving game in in, uh, 2019. So to me, you know, Alvin Kamara, not only did he miss two games and he still was able to put up those stats, but with a high ankle, sprain, high ankle sprain, we saw it with Saquon Barkley as well. That lingers for a couple weeks, even after you're back. Really, the recovery time for that is four to six weeks. Kamara came back after two, and then he wasn't quite himself for those first couple games. And, and at the end of the season, we really saw him get going um, on the ground. So the thing to me, well, there's two things to me that put Alvin Kamara in um, a different tier than Dalvin Cook. And one, it's the health. Alvin Kamara has only missed three games in his first three seasons. Um, Dalvin Cook has missed, I think, 14 games. Um, no, 19 games. Sorry, 19 games in his first three seasons. So Dalvin Cook is elite, but he just can't stay on the field. I know that's the low-hanging fruit and the easy thing to pick apart with Dalvin Cook, but I'll let you address that later. But um, Alvin Kamara has had 81 receptions in each of his first three seasons. So to me, he's a lock for another 81 receptions in 2020. Um, in his career, he's had 5.4 receptions a game and 6.7 targets a game through the air. And PPR and half PPR formats, that just provides such an incredible baseline and a floor for Alvin Kamara. He's super safe on a week-to-week basis. Even if he doesn't have a super efficient game or even if he doesn't have touchdowns, you know he's going to get catches and still give you 10 to 15 points on his worst week. Um, so in his career, he's a- actually averaged more targets a game than DK Metcalf, Stephon Diggs, A.J. Brown, or Juju got, la- <laughs> got last season. Wow. So, um, you know, he only had six total touchdowns last season as well um, after averaging 15 touchdowns in each of his first two seasons. So, you know, that was the difference with him last season. He only had the the six touchdowns compared to having an average of 15 in his first two. So I think, you know, he will have some positive regression next season. I don't think he's going to get back up to 15 touchdowns. That seemed a little high for his first two years, but I could easily see him getting back in the 10 to 12 touchdown range um, next season, which really raises that upside even more. In 2017, as a rookie, he was the RB3. Uh, in 2018, he was the RB4. And this season, I think he's a competitor to be the RB1. I think he's a locked in top five guy for 2020. And again, with um, that receiving work that he gets with the touchdown upside and with the efficiency and the electric running style that we've seen from Alvin Kamara, he's a guy who could easily finish as a, as the top running back in fantasy football. Drew Brees is back. We know the offense is, is going to be good. They've, they're so consistent. They're, they're stable. There's not a lot of moving pieces there. I think, uh, you know, they bring in Emmanuel Sanders. I don't think that impacts Alvin Kamara at all. So it's a stable offense. We've seen him do it year in and year out, and we know Kamara does it on the ground and through the air. He's safe. He stays healthy for the most part. So to me, that's the difference. I, I think Cook is great. I'd be happy to have him in 2020, but Alvin Kamara is just so much safer, and that's what I'm looking for if I'm taking a running back in the first, you know, five or six picks of the draft. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, they're both coming off seasons where they dealt with injury at different points. You know, Dalvin Cook had essentially his healthiest season, and he finishes the RB6, so finished a little bit higher than Kamara. Something that, as I was getting into the numbers, I really found is, is you know, why these two have a slight gap for me and why I take Cook over Kamara is if we look at, one, their volume, and the difference is there. So, you know, we know you, you just talked about it, right? The 81 receptions a year that Kamara gets, that's fantastic for a running back in terms of passing volume. You know, Cook gets slightly more volume on the ground, and he actually does get a, a decent chunk of receiving work. To me, the gap between Cooks and Kamara on the ground is way farther apart than the gaps if you compare their receiving work. So let's look at Dalvin Cook's carries. He had 18 attempts per game and four receptions per game last season. Kamara had 12 carries a game and six receptions a game last season. We have Kamara finishing fourth in receiving yardage amongst running backs, and Cook was only two spots behind him at sixth. So you look at, at just straight you know, receiving yardage, uh, they're almost you know, even. 
And on top of that, you have Cook finishing ninth in rushing yards. Just a lot of volume, a lot of production. So with Cook, you're getting six more carries a game. And a lot of that means more scoring potential. Cook has had 50 red zone touches in 2019, which had him at six the month running backs. To Kamara's, you know, 36. So almost, you know, 15 additional touches there in the red zone for Cook. And Cook had 13 touchdowns to Kamara's six. And I'm not saying either of those names won't regress to a middle, but I think that tells you a lot right there just in terms of their scoring. So when we look at the gaps in receiving work, I think it is closer than if we look at you know, the gap in, in rushing ability. Um, and, and I think Dalvin Cook and Kamara, again, are both fantastic. The yards per attempt, their efficiency is relatively even, but I'll just take the guaranteed workload, a little bit more scoring that again on the Cook side compared with the Kamara side. Um, can't really debate you too much on the injury side, I just look at, at 2019 and see that things are trending in the right direction, at least in terms of Cook's health. Um, and I'm not worried about Latavius Murray coming in and taking carries away on the goal line um, or in short yardage situations. We know that's all going to go to Cook. So that's my case for Cook there. You know, they're both pretty even, I would say. And, and like you said, I'm happy having either one on my team. Uh, I'm just taking Cook here of the two. Well, Steph, it's actually funny you bring up Latavius Murray because he's on the Saints now. And I don't see him bringing, uh, coming in and taking that goal line volume away from Alvin Kamara. Um, you know, we did see that happen a little bit with Cook uh, and Latavius Murray when he was in Minnesota. But to your point, I don't think Alexander Madison is a guy who's going to take that away, even though they spent pretty decent draft capital on him last year. And with Cook, to your point, like, if I could guarantee that Dalvin Cook was going to stay healthy for the whole season, I think I might be tempted to take him in front of Alvin Kamara just because of that workload that you talked about and the run-heavy offense. But to me, if you take Cook, you definitely have to scoop up Alexander Madison as an insurance policy. Um, Absolutely. But again, like Cook last season was the RB2 through 14 games before he got hurt. Um, in 2018, he was the RB7 over the last seven games of the season, but he just can't stay on the field. And for me, if I'm going to take a running back that early, I want a little bit more stability, and I don't want to have to worry about him getting banged up. But, it, I mean, you brought, you've made a great case. When they're both 100% healthy, like Dalvin Cook and Alvin Kamara, you, you're happy with either of those guys as your running back one. Um, and, you know, Kamara's always been known for his efficiency, and Cook has been known to be efficient with volume as well, but it's it might be a little bit too much volume for him to hold up.